We all know that modern logos look modern. But what if they didn't? That's what we're gonna find out today by taking two famous logos and making them look like they were designed in the 1800s. Starting with the Pepsi logo. Subscribe! Alright, so as you can see here we have a normal Pepsi can and an empty one that we're about to customize. Can I stop voice cracking? Customize. And when I say customize, of course, I mean totally and utterly destroy and make it hard to look at without wanting to commit execute self command. Now, if you didn't know, the Pepsi can is mostly blue, but to make it look more old, I'm gonna make it yellow on the bottom and purple on the top. Hmm, that looks really old. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna add the Pepsi text, but I gotta find an old logo looking font, you know what I mean. What about this? Yeah, this is great. I'm quickly gonna add some effects and this looks kind of bad actually. Yeah, this is this looks really bad, but we just gotta roll with it. Now for the logo. I think a logo makeover would be really good for Pepsi because this isn't old enough. I beg your pardon? I'm gonna go to Adobe Animate and make them a brand new logo. Or should I say a brand old logo? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna add this circle and, and, and make it a quarter green and another quarter green. Uh, yeah, we're done. Logo. Let's slap it on the new can and make a few adjustments. Uh, boom. This would be the best soda in the 1800s if, if, if soda was a thing. Now it's time for Burger King. So first off, I'm obviously gonna start with the text and I'm gonna use this font. And now I'm gonna give the text a nice little curve. And since I'm totally not out of ideas, I'm gonna add a crown and we're done. 